Well, I just got turned off, so I'm going to start again. I'm inside the container cabin right now, and we're looking at my dead wood stove, which is just a fantastic piece of equipment. I have an old desk sitting here. I have a little wood that I brought inside, and I would tell everybody, don't do that. This was a mistake. Um, it created a problem with uh, mildew inside the container cabin that really was a problem for me for quite a long time. And you can look over here, and there's the fireplace. And in front of the fireplace, we've got some chairs. And you can see the big blue plastic 50 gallon um, barrels, which I use for storage. And I have some, some here in the kitchen too. This is the, the kitchen area. And I've got a, a board top that hinges and it opens up. This first barrel is where I keep all my water. And then when I'm not using the deadwood stove, I also have a little propane thing. But I'll tell you, the nice thing with this deadwood stove is, with all the fuel I've got here in the forest, I can cook all my meals on that deadwood stove. And I don't do it inside, of course. It's outside. But it really does work well, and it's perfect for this kind of setting. One of the other things I have here is a whole bunch of books. I said don't bring firewood into your container cabin because it's sealed so tightly. Well, I did. I put the firewood in here and that created some mildew and mold on some of those books, which I really did regret. So now let's go back outside and see what's happening with the, my daughter at the outhouse. There she is. She's just getting out of the outhouse. I can get that for you, Sarah. So I hope you had a, a good look with this video of, did you get it? I can get it for you. There we go. All right. All right. You gonna go back and do what you're doing? No, I'm, I turned it off. Okay. Well, that's about all I want to say here from the Okanagan Forest Channel. I hope you have a nice day. And I, if you are considering some kind of container home or container cabin or container retreat, I would strongly suggest that you go with a reefer container that's insulated like this one. Because I've said it in other videos, but I'll say it again. In the middle of summer here, it's not summer yet, it's Memorial Day weekend, so it's very pleasant. But in the middle of summer when it's hot, it's cooler in the container than it is outside. And in the middle of the winter, when it's very cold outside and freezing, you can be so warm and toasty inside that container that you got to walk around in your underwear. So. I'm going to say so long, and I hope you're having a nice day, and if there was anything that was helpful to you in this video and the previous one, please give me a, a shout, and leave me a, a comment, or tell me what I can do to improve things. I've got a lot of discussion from people on, well, don't you, shouldn't you have windows? Well, yes, you can put some windows in, and if you're up here all the time, you definitely want to do it. But the nice thing about this container is that pack rats and mice and rodents and other things just don't get in. So if you're not here for a while, you close her all up and you come back and it's just the way you left it. And that's, that's really pretty nice. It, it's worked really well. And let me say one other thing. This container has now been in this location for, well, I'm going to say almost or a bit over five years. And it's working just as good now as it ever did. And uh, boy, you can't beat that for good security. It, it really does work well. Anyway, I'm going to say so long, and I hope you had a nice day. And uh, give me a shout when you have a, uh, have a chance. And that, this is the Okanagan Forest Channel. You take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.